All right, guys, today we're gonna try something simple. Very, very simple, okay? And it's probably the most overlooked of all maintenance options on a diesel motorhome. Uh, you'll be really surprised. Some of you may not even know this is a thing. And I can tell you, very few people ever asked me to even change this part. And uh, it's kind of an important part when you think about it. And I can tell you also, if you visually inspect it, you can also see on every used motorhome out there, nobody ever changes this. So check this out. So on a diesel motorhome, you have a diesel chassis that uses compressed air for uh, mostly braking, <laughs> right? Uh, that compressed air is taken from the atmosphere, it's going to have moisture in it, and it's going to have dirt in it. So there's a desiccant type air filter right at the beginning where the air is coming in that helps dry the air out before it gets compressed uh, and before it goes to the tanks, and it also is a preliminary air filter. No, it's basically an air filter. So it looks just like a great big huge oil filter for an engine oil uh, on a block. Let's take a look at it. So here it is. Uh, it's a pretty generic one for most of all of them. I use a Napa because, you know, it's easier to cross-reference that. This is what it looks like. It's just a great big heavy filter. It just spins on like a normal uh, oil filter would. And it looks like a big oil filter, but it's an air filter. It's got desiccant down in there. Let's see if I can get a flashlight so you can see a little bit better. And it helps just keep the system going. I believe that the chassis manufacturers say you're supposed to change this out every year. And like I said, nobody ever does that. Uh, I will say because it's such a big filter and nobody changes it out, this uh, gasket gets stuck on there really well. So you need a lot of torque to get it off generally. It gets rusted in place because it's usually mounted upside down like that. So it sits in its own filth. So let's take a look at where this goes and how to do it. All right, so here we are. We're on a uh, 2006 Fleetwood Revolution. Could be a five. Who's to say? But what you'll see in this back compartment... Is right here. That's that air filter I was telling you about. This looks like the original one that was put on there. I can't even get the, uh, the protective label off of it so you can see it. But this one was a Wabco, you can kind of read it. But there's Meritor, um, all different t site types, but they're all going to use this basic um, type of canister. Um, of course, obviously, it doesn't just do brakes, it does suspensions too. and your air horn if you have an air horn. So I'm going to do is uh, take this off, put a new one on, really straightforward. I'll point out anything that you might need to know at that point. Uh, I will say that sometimes this is hidden way underneath on the inside of the frame. You have to go underneath and do this from uh, underneath. And that's sometimes very unfortunate that manufacturers do that to us. But that's what that is. Now you know better. Now, some people might like to use uh, oil filter wrenches like this, but that, like I said, this is a really wide one. Even with oil filters, this is my favorite tool to use. This is a strap type of a wrench. Just wrap it around there. Use a 3 in, three eight uh, drive ratchet and uh, extension. And as you tighten it up, it'll cinch really hard on this. I'll get it put on there. You can kind of see how what I'm talking about. I just put a little bit of a... Uh, cleaner on there to break out anything free so as you go make sure you you know wrap it up the direction that you're trying to unscrew it or uh, loosen it so don't wrap it the other way but you just tighten it up there and you're gonna put the uh, ratchet on top and then just start cranking on it then you'll have to apologize I'll have to apologize this is actually half inch drive not three eighths I don't know why I said three eighths so all you're gonna do is just keep uh, tightening or uh, loosening it now, because it's a ratchet, if you go back, it just loosens up the strap, so you have to hold the ratchet head when you uh, actually ratchet. And this is not actually under air pressure, so you don't really have to worry about it too much. Once you get to a point where you can't do it, move it anymore, because the whole thing moves with it, 
Just loosen it up a little bit. Slide your strap back and then just repeat. But it actually came out pretty nice. So now we can probably just unscrew it by hand. You wouldn't think it, but these lines back here are really tightening in the way. I think we're pretty much free there. Check that out. Now we can look inside. Doesn't look too bad. But definitely was time. So all I'll do is clean up this inside right here. The new filter comes with the new O-ring. So we'll put a new O-ring on. And uh, I will add some oil to this O-ring right here so it doesn't get stuck down. So I appreciate whoever, whoever did this last time did the same thing. If somebody did it last time. I don't know. Who's to know? So again, this filter is just uh, I got, has a built-in desiccant to help dry out the air. It's going to go to your air, air compressor and then to the tanks. So this air doesn't go to the engine directly. It goes to your brakes and your suspension, which is, on some level, I think probably more important than uh, the engine. So this should be on a regular maintenance for most people, but it's not always. And like I said, this is the Napa filter I use. It'll cross over to all these other filters. There are a few other ones that bolt on. Hopefully you don't have that style because they're a little harder to get to. Let's put a little bit of oil right there. Alright, smear that around a little bit. Smear it around a little bit. Just thread it back on. Now this should thread on pretty easily. It's not a lot to this. Let's get that going. Then I'll mark down the mileage and the uh, the date that we did this, so we'll know when it was done. All right. Now there's no real reason to use a tool to tighten this back up. There's even uh, instructions right here. See, look at that. You give it a high five. Um, put oil on it or fuel. Scratch it like a record, and then go one scratch more. Oh, well, one half scratch more. So you go, freaky, 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 freaky. Is that right? <laughs> As you'll notice, there's no tool. Uh, it doesn't show any tools on here, so don't use tools. And with that, this uh, most overlooked of all the RV diesel chassis maintenance is, all, is done. It's a very simple do-it-yourself sort of a job. So if you can do that, do that. Especially if you're buying a, a used motorhome, and this does not look new, and it looks something more like this. I would uh, recommend getting it changed out. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. Bye. And so there's actually a, a desiccant air filter and in there that... Um, So there's a desiccant type of air filter that uh Okay